The Devil's Brigade was an elite secret force that trained in Helena, Montana. One of the very few surviving members is Mr. George Wright. He is a local resident at the Publau Retirement House in Picton, Ontario. Mr. Wright signed up for the military in January 1940 and was trained and drilled for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, what did you do, like, before you joined up with the first special service force, actually? Like, just while you were a part of the Hasty Uh, I was over with the Hasty Peace from 40 to 42 when they started to form the special service force. Okay. And I was tired, I was bored of marching around and polishing brass and, and uh, I wanted some excitement. So I was very fortunate in that I had just finished uh, a six week course for the British Commandos, which put me in top shape. And uh, I was with the Hasty Peas and uh, I was called in and asked if I wanted to join a suicide squad. This force, or suicide squad, would then eventually become the first special service force, or otherwise known as the Devil's Brigade. Their very first mission was going to be an invasion on a Norwegian mountain to destroy a Nazi facility focused around the use of heavy water. This wa heavy water was going to be used in nuclear bombs. The operation, however, was aborted. What are we going to do with these guys? We got a highly trained force, and we were highly trained. We were yeah. in top shape half Americans, half Canadians, and uh, Atu had just fallen to the Americans, the Aleutian Islands, and uh, Keska was being defended by the Japs, so they thought a good mission for us fellows. So we went out to take Atu, and the Japs had moved out the night before that we arrived. On yeah, the I heard that you guys didn't exactly <laughs> do anything there because we're all just there kind of ran. There. But having said that, the Americans were coming in. They landed in the morning on the lower ground. We were up in the hills to get the Japs as they retreated towards the, the hills. Okay. And uh, it was foggy. You could hardly see your head in front of you. And I don't know whether nobody told those guys that we were up there, but they opened fire on us. Oof. That was our next mission. Uh, they sent us to Italy, and the Allied armies had been held up uh, by this mountain range. And Mount Defensia was impregnable. It, the, the, the Americans who tried to get it, and the British uh, had tried, they lost piles of men because Mount Defensia, they could only attack on a frontal attack. The back of the mountain was just sheer cliffs. They said there was a goat path that would follow up, but it was almost straight up. The mission was a huge success and allowed the Allies to get close to Rome. This mission was also where the Special Force Group got its name. This is because the Germans were so frightened by them and they would appear everywhere at seemingly random times that they got the name of Devil's Brigade. After that, the Devil's Brigade went to Rome. Before the Brigade got to Rome, however, our own Mr. Wright was shot in the gut and had to sit this one out. He was wounded but still came back to fight in their last mission. The Devil's Brigade had one final great mission before it was disbanded, and this mission was at the Anzio Beachhead. Their job was to hold the front while the Allies prepared for the push to Rome. The only problem was this, at this point in the war, the Devil's Brigade's numbers were starting to wear thin. The force overcame this by making the enemy, enemy believe there was more of them than there really was. They achieved this through constant moving of men and hitting the enemy from behind on aggressive patrols. After every raid, they left a unique calling card on some of their victims, which translated in to, uh, the worst is yet to come in German. This is also another reason they were known as the Devil's Brigade. The last reason they were called this was because members smeared their faces with black boot polish for their covert operations in the dark of night. After their success here, the group participated in many smaller battles and was shortly disbanded after fighting with no relief for 99 days. After the war, George Wright received many medals, including the French Medal, Bronze Star, and Silver Star. He also had become a French Knight, and when he returned from the war, he became a police officer and eventually made his way to sergeant. The Devil's Brigade was a very big influence in the war because they pulled off impossible operations that helped the Allies win. 
This concludes our analysis of the Devil's Brigade, and thanks to Mr. Wright for letting us interview him.